Now this, corporations will be under pressure this year to make big investments because of the GOP tax plan. Joining us now is Catherine Monson, CEO of Fast Signs and a regular guest of the show. Uh, Catherine, so much, uh, well, you know, a lot has been said about the tax reform bill. Um, you are, are more in the small business arena, am I correct? And if that is true... Absolutely right. Did you get enough out of this tax bill to make you happy? Well, I have to tell you that mm. this is a real exciting tax cut, pro-growth. It'll, it'll really help American businesses, particularly small businesses that have been held back by a burdensome tax code for more than 30 years. Now, maybe I would have liked to have seen a little bit more benefit for small businesses. I think the Section 199A 20% uh, deduction is a good step in the right direction. There's a lot of complexity behind it. But uh, any tax cut is a good tax cut, and as I've talked to a lot of my franchisees and other small business owners, mm. they're excited about having more money left over at the end of the day to reinvest and grow their businesses. Well, that was my question. What do you do with those savings? Do you reinvest? Do you expand? Do you create more jobs? Do you, you, know, do you uh, raise wages? What will you do? You know, what, what do you think is the best uh, course with regard to the, that extra money at hand? Well, I think every business owner is going to make their own decision. For myself, as the CEO of Fast Signs International, we're a C-Corp, and that lower tax rate for us is going to give us more money to invest to hire more employees and pay higher wages, and that's definitely going to happen. When I look at my franchisees, we have over 600 in the United States, Fast Signs franchisees. 90% of them are pass-through entities, and they're talking about these tax savings allowing them to buy a new piece of equipment. That puts people... At to at work that make the equipment right. they've got to hire employees to to operate the equipment they're going to add more employees and grow their businesses as the number of jobs increase there's going to be more and more demand for workers which means wages are going to go up so this is an absolutely fantastic pro-growth tax cut that's going to help raise the wages of all Americans because there's going to be more job growth. It's going to be good for everybody. And that was the selling point that you put together very nicely of the GOP. But you know those on the left are going to be watching like a hawk. And if they don't see that reinvestment, if they see they're just convinced this is a tax break for the rich and that that money will not trickle down and not will have an impact on the overall economy, how would you answer that? Well, I would say they're probably going to be looking for that, but I think mm -hmm. a year from now and two years from now when the economy is booming and there are more jobs and wages have already grown and voters are happy because of that, they're going to see that their message was wrong and the GOP's message was right. All right. We shall see, as they say, the proof of the pudding and all of that. But, uh, Catherine Monson, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it.